In this video, we are going to discuss about different types of code optimization. The first is execution time optimization. Why we need to optimize our code for execution time? Because that provides faster service to the users. So let's see how we can do that, how we can optimize our code for execution time. First and foremost, most of the languages that we use these days have commands that have built in optimization for execution time. You should learn about those commands and try to use them as much as possible in your program. Use switch instead of if condition. If and switch both are decision control statements, but implementing a switch is easier and implementing a if is more difficult and takes more execution time. So you should try to use switch whenever a decision control structure has to be implemented. Minimize function calls within loop structures. As we have discussed in a previous video, loop structures are used when a set of commands, a set of instructions have to be repeated again and again. If you are calling a function within that loop, that means that call is also getting executed many times. Function calls are very time intensive. So you should minimize having function calls within loops to optimize the total execution time of your program. Lastly, you should optimize the data structures that you use in the program. Data structures like arrays or pointers. You should try to optimize them individually that will save on lots of execution time. Now let's come to the next optimization that is the memory optimization. Data and instructions both consume memory because they have to be saved there. Data here is also referring to the interim data that is generated when the process is in its execution phase. You should always keep a track of how many instructions are making up your program, how many interim data are making up your program. So here are some tips for memory optimization. Use commands that have built in memory optimization, same as for the execution time optimization. Keep the use of variables that need to be stored in the register to be minimum. As you remember from a previous video, the data can be stored in registers or the primary memory as well as secondary memory. Primary memory is expensive. So we should avoid using variables that have to be compulsorily stored in the primary memory. Avoid declaring global variables inside loops that are executed many times. Like you should avoid function calls within loops to reduce on execution time. You should avoid declaring global variables inside loop to save on the memory because every time the loop executes that will be declared again and new memory space has to be allocated. Avoid using CPU intensive functions like square root. There are some functions that use lots of memory space. Get to know about those functions which are specific to your programming language and avoid using them. If you must use keep them to a minimum. So in this video, we have learned how we can do optimization of our code. In the next video, we are going to discuss about program documentation.